wrap up, let's check out a few of our 2A games, starting with District 1, 2A Division 1. First up, we have Sanford Fritch at home, at the home of the Farwell Steers. <laughs> we'll check this game out. Quite a close game, you would think. But for the Steers, you'll check this out. Corey Stansel receives the ball, makes his way away from a pack of Eagles, and he is free and headed to the end zone. What a run for Stansel and touchdown for them go up six to zero. Now we'll move on to the Eagles now with the possession and they get stopped by a slew of steers and the ball is stripped and you'll see Stancil fall on it for Farwell recovery and first down and again Stancil can't get away from that name making it look easy out there make it making it to the end zone and touchdown 12 to zero. Fritch falls to Farwell seven to 55. Over in Sunray, the Bobcats hosted the number six ranked Stratford Elks for District 3 2A Division 2 showdown. Stratford Zane Burr takes the handoff, breaks the tackle, and goes for the touchdown. Elks up 7 to 0. Next play, Sunray's Armando Lujan hits Ty McDowell for the short gain. Nice spiral there. Let's see if Sunray can get it in. Next play, Lujan scrambles. Where is he going to go? He's looking, he's looking, he's looking. He throw intercepted by Adam Duran. Stratford, after the interception, it's Bird takes the handoff and scores the short TD. Stratford again. Next possession, Cody Ryan with the QB keeper. And he sneaks up the gut for the 10 yard TD. Stratford gets a huge win, 64 to seven over Sunray. Now Panhandle got their first win of the season last week. Can they make it? two in a row. We'll check this out. Handoff by Landon Hack to Wyatt Brookshire and he avoids tackles, gets around a slew of Comanches to make it all the way to just inches Ooh. before the goal line and that ends up leading to a touchdown for the Panthers and they'll go up on that drive. Now for the kickoff return, you'll see Brookshire. He receives the ball and he'll make a big run for the whole field and easy making it look easy out there to the house 40 to 6 panhandle goes up what a difference now luke leisure you'll see here strips the ball from the comanches and takes it home Woo! panthers get the big win 67 to 12. after a 10 minute delay at the start of the game the olton mustangs are looking for a win against boys ranch rough riders First quarter we go. Olton's Logan Lasseter looking to pass, but finds no one open. He decides to run the ball, outrunning the trailing Rough Riders for Olton first down. Logan Lasseter again. He's going to find Jake Solis. It's caught. Solis with his eyes set on a touchdown is able to escape the grasp of the Rough Riders and runs it in for a Mustang touchdown. Mustangs get the two point conversion. It's 8 to 0. Later in the first quarter, Lasseter deciding to run the ball. He finds an opening, hops over a Rough Rider, and gets a Mustang first down. Olton takes over, and this one winning 37 to 6. Now let's check out some more 2A scores. Ropes falls to Bovina 15 to 22. Battle of Wheeler County, the Shamrock Irish get their first win in this series alone since 2013, 38 to 3 over Wheeler. Now Greyhound stay undefeated over the Kiowas, 51 to 12. What a season they are having. But it's time to check out our play of the week page. Take it away. Yeah, so let's check this out. Number 76, you'll see Luke Leister. He'll tip the ball that's thrown. And it's caught wow. by Levi McGill, number 22, and taken to the house. What a play for Panhandle, giving these small towns some love with these great plays. Definitely don't want to miss that out. But hey, fans, if you took any cool photos or videos from the game, send them our way to newschannel10.com or Texas Panhandle Sports Network or scan the QR code on your screen below. You can even upload videos during the game. And if you capture a cool celebration shot, you might even see it on the wrap up or our Instagram page. Stay with us for some 1A highlights coming up after the break. We're the River O Wildcats and you're, you're